welcome to my youtube channel mechanical magic mechanical learning tutorials so in this video i am talking about internal energy is a point function so let's see that will be for the pv diagram for the different processes so x axis that will be representing v that means volume y axis representing as a pressure so here it will be the system that will be having a two states or you can say two points point number 1 and point number 2 so as from the figure point 1 to 2 process and that will be by the 1 a 2 and that will be the reverse 2 b 1 for similarly for the second process 1 a 2 and 2 c a so here it will be generally as per the pv diagram for the cyclic process number 1 and that will be 1 a 2 and 2 b 1 so that will be the portion as a first number and for the second process 1 a 2 and that will be reverse like 2 c and 1 so for this process now we will know we will already know as per the first law of thermodynamics heat supply that will be q equal to work done by the system plus internal energy stored into the system so I want to apply for the one so Q A that will be delta U for A plus W A similarly for the B process Q B that will be equal to delta U B plus W B Q C that will be equal to delta U for the C and WC. So equation number 1, 2 and 3. Now for the cyclic process as per the thermodynamics. So that will be the cyclic symbolic of del Q. That will be equal to del W. I want to apply for the process number 1. So that will be occurs 1A2 to 2B1. So here just put the value from equation number 1 and 2 for the process number 1 so here plus w a now for b delta u b plus w b that will be equal to w a plus w b so here w a w a and w b and w b is cancelled out so here delta u for a plus delta u for B or you can say internal energy for A plus internal energy of B that will be becoming 0. So here delta A internal energy A that will be equal to minus of delta U of B. I want to interest to apply for second process and that will be occurs between 1 A2 to 2 C1. So that process. So once again utilization of the 1 and process C. So just put the value internal energy of A plus work done of A that will be internal energy of C 
plus work done of C that will be equal to A plus C. So here once again similar. So internal energy A plus internal energy C that will be equal to zero. So that will be representing as a internal energy A equal to minus of internal energy of C. So from equation number A and equation number B, just you can see delta A or internal energy of A that will be equal to of B and that will be equal to C. So for here B and C point or you can say an internal energy of point B B and internal energy of point C that will be having a equal. So generally that will be only depends on points not on to which path is following. So in that case either the process 1 A 2 and 2 B 1 is occur or you can say 1 A 2 or 2 C A is occur. So if you are doing your process number 1 or process number 2 in both the cases the internal energy of point number 1 and point number 2 that will be only depends upon the point. So it will be not depending on to the which path is it will be following. So actually that would be called as a internal energy is a point function. So if you like it then subscribe, share 